Okay, so yeah. I was fired from Yes Theory. Let me catch you up to speed. Everybody has a dream job. Whether that be an astronaut. Now look into space. Or a professional surfer. Maybe even one of those lollipop people. I love the kids. The kids love me. For years, all I wanted was one thing. And that was to work with Yes Theory. I was all about their message, seeking discomfort, and everything else that they were doing. It's gonna sound pretty crazy. I'm looking for a stranger to come skydive with me today. Can we camp in your backyard? Do you wanna get matching tattoos? Do you wanna go skydiving? So you can imagine my reaction when I saw this. We're hiring a badass storyteller and editor to come join us in LA. I was about 20 years old. Big dreams, nothing to lose. So I made what I thought was the greatest editor application of all time. You make a badass application video. This video inspired me. But I'm the perfect person for Yes Theory. And lo and behold, no, no, I didn't get the job. I mean, would you give the job to a guy with a mustache like that? I don't think so. I don't think so. But a couple years later, I tried again. Hi, I'm Jack, and this is a quick little update on me. And to my surprise, they actually liked it. Hey man, how are you? Basically, like, what's happening is we think you're a superstar. Like, we're super impressed by the MC done, and we definitely want to bring you on. Yeah, hell yeah. Very pumped. And lo and behold, yeah, this time I got my dream job. I think from the outside looking in, this did seem like the dream job. And at the start, it was. You know, I was working with my idols and going on trips around the world, but the reality was that 99% of the time I was stuck behind a computer editing someone else's adventures. And this is throwing no shade at Yes Theory whatsoever. Like, what did I expect being an editor for a YouTube channel? I think I was just swept up in working with Yes Theory that I didn't really embrace the reality of the job. I did learn and grow more than you can imagine. I think I was just struggling with the fact I was stuck behind the computer when I wanted to be in front of the camera. But ultimately, they saw that I was losing my spark. So they made the decision that I couldn't make myself to force me and go and find my spark. And yeah, if you're wondering, me and the Yes Theory team, we're still great friends. It's just time for the next chapter. My mate Joe was one of the first people I called. He's living in New York and was doing his best to convince me to come visit him. I've never been to New York. You've never been here? It's, it's by far the coolest place I've ever been. And the whole time we'll just make videos and we'll strategize, brainstorm, come up with series, we'll meet people, we'll network. This exact thing is the exact same reason why you signed up to edit VS Theory. Because you wanted to do spontaneous fucking epic trips like this. Get your camera, start filming this conversation because I want to get this on record. <laughs> Now, obviously with no steady income, I'm not just gonna go and book a flight. So I decided, I'm gonna buy a ticket to New York. It was a very expensive trip and I just got fired so I don't have a source of income, so I'm a little bit nervous about that, but I think it'll be good. I, I really wanna realign with myself of what I'm doing and the path that I'm taking. So, what do you think about me going to New York? I've got a good feeling about it. Thanks, thanks for supporting. You're a good girlfriend. Thanks, just by yourself. Just like that, we're off. Now, while I was traveling, Joe was actually planning something of his own. So, what's the plan? So, my best mate from Australia just got fired, and he arrives in New York in one hour. He got fired? What a dummy! And he just happens to be great mates with the paparazzi boys. I know what to do, but you're gonna have to put this on. <laughs> Let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, it's our pleasure to be the first to welcome you to Newark Liberty International Airport, where the local time is 3.54. Man, it's at the Big Apple. Oh, I'm excited. Hey, hey mate, where are you? Hey, I, uh, I'm at Passenger Pickup. Can you meet us at the bag drop? All right, see you. Duh. All right, Joe's just giving me a text saying he's here. Number six, can I get your plane? Hey, right there, 
Jackie Boy. Is that him? That's him. Can you see him? That's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. Jack Sullivan! Jack Sullivan! Is that you? Is the tree you got fired? Tree got fired, Jack! Jack! Well, it's unfair, it's been so long you get fired for being a bad employee. We heard you got fired! Man, that sucks! Jack! 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 Follow me in New York, Jack! This is amazing. This is incredible. How are you? After a 24 hour plus journey, <laughs> I was like not expecting that. That was the best. Well, even after a three hour journey, you wouldn't be expecting it. Uh, even though yeah. no journey, I wouldn't be expecting that. <laughs> yeah, boys, thanks for making my entrance to the to the Big Apple special. Hell yeah. Jackie, boys, welcome to Manhattan. Oh, look, there's a homeless guy shitting into a 7 Eleven cup. <laughs> <laughs> This is where the magic happens. Little New York kitchen. This is where the magic happens. That is the couch. Wait, wait, can I guess? Is that where the magic happens? No, that's where we watch TV. Oh, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> this is Zach's room. This is where the magic happens. This is my room. This. Wait, is this where the magic happens? No, I just sleep in here. To be honest, there's not much going on in this room. And after giving Giuseppe a few Australian snacks, <laughs> we had a much needed catch up. Yes. Oh. <laughs> if you would have told me a couple days ago that I would have been in New York and no longer working with Yes Siri, I probably would have said, forget about it. But here we are. <laughs> hey, <forget about> it. <laughs> I made it to New York. It's bike time. Do you have to wear helmets here? <laughs> no. <laughs> Good morning, New York. We're on the bike ride and you wouldn't believe what I just saw. It's an actual school bus. Hey, mum, I'm on Broadway. You know what? For some strange reason, I feel like I belong here. You know? Oh, no, I, I didn't even see that. Brooklyn Bridge, is this? I think it's that way. I might have totally got the complete wrong way there. I'm hoping this doesn't fall. Central Park was actually built by James Central because he was the um, architect of the whole Miss Bang Shuang. <laughs> I think the real reason why I wanted to book this trip was to reignite that fire inside of me and rediscover myself. I think over the past year I've lost a little bit of myself and before that I was making videos all the time. There was even a stage where I was making a video every single day for two months. And when I look back at my life, some of the happiest and most exciting moments were when I was filming. And I want that back. So that's the plan. I want to commit myself to making videos for me. Also, I need to figure out how to get money, but I'll figure that out as well. Welcome to the channel. Say it in French? Yeah. Welcome to the channel. <laughs>